So using UVs as a selection method probably doesn't seem like anything new, but when you realize like how fast it can actually help you, especially for more complex models, this can be really useful. So um, let's say we have this model, uh, we've got a lot of bits and pieces on it, and we have all these UVs laid out. Um, if we keep UV sync selection enabled, we don't have to have anything selected over here to have the UVs show. So right now, like let's say I want to select all these planks, um, I could manually select them all like that, or if I group them together in my UVs, then I can just, you know, box select and control L to um, select the rest of, of, you know, the island. And now I have them all quickly selected. Uh, but let's say that we have a texture um, that is, you know, we have UVs specific for a texture and the UVs are all over the place. Well, you can easily just create a new UV map. Uh, be careful doing this though, um, or at least remember that you have created a new UV map because when you export this, for anything like if you're using this in another program when you export that you'll have to make sure that you're managing uv maps uh, correctly um either delete uv um map or make sure that everything is hooked up correctly in the next program wherever you're taking it to so disclaimer there but anyway we can uh, just press the plus there and it'll duplicate it and we can call this selections and now in the selections uh, if we look up here at the top we'll see that whatever we have selected it will show so we want to make sure we have selections picked um now we can just take all these and we can control L and move these over here, scale them down. The UVs, it doesn't really matter. They don't have to be very precise. We just want to have them all grouped together um, just as long as we can access those points easily. And then, you know, we could do that with other bits too. Um, one last thing, like, so I added all these random cylinders down here. And uh, typically when you create an object, uh, and duplicate it they you know they'll all have the same uvs so they overlap perfectly right here so i can just press uh you know control b or sorry b or just box select whatever and i can just select all those pretty quickly um but again if i did need these like if if on my uv map all these were you know scattered everywhere uh if i you press u and press smart uv project now, like, let's just say they had to be all over there for my texture. I mean, that's, this is not what you should do because everything overlaps, but that's beside the point. So this is, you know, this is our, uh, our texture UVs. Now we want to go over to our selection UVs and make sure that we, you know, just have everything off to the center. Or if everything was like this again, then we just, you know, scale it down, pull it over here. And uh, just remember that this section is our cylinders. Um, this is a great method because sometimes if you want to use, like there is the shift G method, the select similar menu. If I want to select like area, for example, select everything with the same area, it's not always going to be, you know, even if I adjust these parameters, it's not going to, like, it's still going to bring in other selections too, like we see here. So it's not always perfect and you can sometimes mess things up by, uh, not having this um, you know, having the area, uh, be selecting other things and then modifying stuff. So this is just a really easy and clean way. So anyway, I hope this helps. Um, thanks for your time and consider subscribing. See ya.